Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Shive and today we are back with Kayla Watts. She's agent on special assignment for community recovery and resiliency for the University of Kentucky. Kayla, thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me, Christy. Kayla, where can we find reliable weather information uh, to turn to when these weather conditions arise? So reliable weather information is, is really critical, especially because we live in such a socialized digital age. Um, people are sharing lots of things on social media sites that maybe are or are not research-based. And so we talk about that a lot in Extension. So one of the first places that I always direct people to is the local extension office. Uh, the agriculture agent in that office has access, uh, and the, the other agents as well, to the ag weather station that is located on UK's campus. And uh, those folks do a wonderful job there breaking down the data. Um, you know, they're not going to give projections unless they're very, very certain of that. And then they're also going to give that practical side too, you know, if we do get this weather, then this is the implications for farm and family. And so that's a really good source. The National Weather Service is also a wonderful source. And so the closest National Weather Service office to where you're located in Western Kentucky is Owensboro. And um, they have a wonderful online presence. Um, most of those weather service stations have their own uh, Facebook pages. Uh, some of them also have Instagram, just trying to look for new ways to get that information out. Those um, stations also send information to local agriculture agents and extension offices. And so, you know, I'm not saying for people to call up the extension office and ask what the weather is for that day, but there are ways for agents to connect people with those reliable weather resources. There are links on the um, UK Extension Disaster Preparedness page to the Ag Weather Station. Um, they also have their own website. Um, and then again, you know, those agriculture agents can connect folks with um, information. Um, they do send out regular email to agents giving weather updates, which then can be forwarded to our clientele. Wonderful. And Kayla, what other reliable information um, do possibly the FCS agents have access to? Absolutely. So when it comes to winter weather and the implications or just weather in general, you know, we think about power outages and preparing our homes and things like that. Your family consumer sciences agents are going to um, be connected to tons of resources that can help with things like that you know they're going to be able to tell you how long is my food good for mm -hmm. in the refrigerator if i lose power or can i use um this equipment if you know it, it's been uh, stored someplace inappropriately and and been frozen you know just all kinds of different things and so the fcs agent you know is going to have a, a wealth of resources on food safety home safety and preparation Yes, sometimes we receive calls that uh, the power has been out, but they don't know how long, um, and people want us to help them figure out if the food in their freezer refrigerator is still good, and we can help walk you through that. And Kayla, before we wrap up today, do you have any other resources uh, that you would recommend for others to explore online and in person? Absolutely. So our federal uh, readiness site is called ready.gov. And I encourage folks to go on there and take a look at that information uh, because it is federally funded. I, I kind of laugh and tell people you're helping pay for that information. So we need to use it. But there's all kinds of information on there about any kind of weather or natural disaster. Um, another great resource is the CDC. Actually, the CDC has wonderful resources on food safety and preparation, how to ready your home for winter weather and things like that. Thank you for joining us today on the Farm and Home Show, and we'll see you next time.